I took Derek Elliott's Skillshare course, so you don't have to. Let's see if it's worth it or not. Hello, my name is Simon. I'm a video editor and 3D enthusiast based in Portugal. I believe you are here today because you want to know if Derek's Skillshare course is worth it, if it's worth you pay the month subscription of Skillshare. But first, let me tell you something. This video is not sponsored. Uh, so long story short, yes, the course is worth it. And I will talk more about this at the end of the video. But first, let me tell you what we will learn if you take this course. I want to first show you the, the course, the path on Skillshare. Here it is. First, the class is actually structured in five different parts, as you can see in here. In the first one, it's this one. You will only uh, go through the Blender interface and how Blender works, really, really the basics, just so you know what is Blender. And you will create a very basic scene with primitive objects. If you are actually getting started, it's important you start for, from this one. The second one, if you already know Blender a bit, I highly suggest you start from this one, from the second one, because in here, Derek actually teaches you how to build a whole room, you know, and you're going to learn a lot of modeling techniques. You even are going to learn about cloth simulation and we are going to light and give some materials to all of the objects. And also it teaches you how you can add objects and assets from the internet that you haven't modeled yourself, which is completely valid. And it talks about that as well. Course number three is a bit more advanced. It starts with giving you overlook of how lights work, uh, how lights are important to actually create emotion and to give different meanings to your scenes. And it goes through the different lights that exist. So it's a really good introduction to lighting, uh, in my opinion, but it doesn't go in depth. After he talks about lighting, he actually picks up the, the scene that we created on course two and he starts actually giving more advanced materials. So in here, he actually goes about texturing using image textures. It starts going a bit more in depth and using other nodes and procedural ways of creating these materials. And so on the third course, we start learning animation. We'll start learning how keyframes work, how the curves work, not much, but just a little touch. And we actually give it some form, some movement. And after that, it starts to teaching you how to set different cameras at the same time on your timeline and switch between them, uh, which is really cool. So you don't have to create different scenes. And also in here, as you can see in here, we have this bottle. It gives you this bottle and it teaches you how to do a loop animation. It also teaches you about the cloth simulation, how you can animate that and bake it. And so the last one, the last, let's say course, it's this one. It starts the course by telling you how important it is to storyboard and to actually think about what, you, what do you want your shots to be like. Apart from this, you actually learn how to use curves and how curves work and the different feelings, the different speeds. And I think this is all you need for you to actually start creating your own animations and start practicing without needing anything else because it teaches you everything that you need. And one last thing that he actually teaches you is how you use rigid bodies. So, and I think this is really nice because it doesn't only teach you simple animation. It actually teaches you a bit of cloth animation and a bit of rigid bodies. The only thing that I think it's missing, it's liquid, liquid animation but it's a bit more advanced. And so I think that's why it didn't touch on that point. Last thoughts. Is it worth it? 100% yes. Is this only for beginners? No, I don't think so. Imagine that um, you don't mess much around with animation. If you don't, this is perfect for you to start. I think it's really worth it. And another thing is uh, you get to know how it works, its workflow. And why is this good? Because you can actually learn from it and try to incorporate it in your workflow so you can get better and faster at Blender because he has a really cool workflow. And yeah, I think it's all I have for you today. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe and don't forget to watch this other video that I have in here. I hope you like it, subscribe, give it a like and I'll see you next week.